Whew. okay hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jenna Coleman and I'm here with another video for you guys today is going to be a story time mix up video type thing I have three stories that I want to tell you guys that are like WTF moments in my life that I've experienced and I feel like these stories are like ugh. these are like it's not enough for them to have their own story time video. So I was just like, why not just put them all in one video? I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so this first story is about how I got the Heimlich remover done on me. It was a very like the time. Like, let me just get. Let me just get into the video. Though. This is probably like the earliest, like the earliest of my life of the story times that I'm gonna tell you today. This happened like. In middle school I was about to say elementary school but it did not happen in elementary school so it happened in middle school and this story time is so funny but um, basically my middle school we, when we had lunch um, lunch time was divided between grades I think that's every middle school I don't know why I just said my middle school but yeah we was having lunch and I don't know why I remember the cafeteria just being so empty like I just remember oh you know what it is i think two classes was just in the lunchroom i don't even remember what grade i was in i was either in seventh or eighth grade definitely or sixth i don't know i really don't know so we was in the cafeteria and we're just i'm just chilling with my friends you know eating my friends are eating like we're just having a nice time did you guys ever weird i know but like did you guys ever have silent lunch or was that just a new york thing because i remember all the time having silent lunch like if you did something bad not even during lunch time but just like any time during school which is weird you would just get silent lunch like just be silent during lunch but yeah just let me know down in the comments if you guys ever had a silent lunch before but anyway that's not i don't know why i keep doing that so basically i'm over here chilling with my friends whatever and i remember this one friend i had she was giving me like these sour like these sour patch kids like watermelon it was yes it was and to this day i really love them still even though this happened but she was giving me like sour patch kids um watermelon and they was tasting so good like i really liked them i really enjoyed them until this happened so i basically was eating them and this is not the first time I've ever ate them either. So I'm just eating them. I'm just like I'm thinking this is regular. This is a regular day. When I think back on the situation, like it was so dramatized, like when it happened. But anyway, so I'm eating the candy and I just remember I start coughing. And this cough, you guys, felt so freaking like it hurt like you ever coughed up something sour like it's not fun it doesn't feel good at all like this one really hurt me and i'm just coughing and i can't breathe like i literally with every cough i'm like fiending for some air and no air is coming into my system and i'm just here like yo is this my time like bruh like no air was coming into my lungs and i'm just like okay so I cough and it's this it's a type of cough it's the type of cough where you think if you keep coughing you're gonna get out what you need to get out and this was the type of cough where I should have done the exact opposite but anyway I'm coughing I'm coughing I'm coughing and I can't breathe and then I just remember like I'm coughing I'm holding my chest and I'm like <laughs> 
Yo, I'm gonna insert what I what I look like. Like I look like one of those gerbils, like the animated gerbil that like the mouth was like <coughs> and it was just like <coughs> and I'm just like, yo, like I'm looking around. Well, I wasn't really looking, looking around, but like as I'm looking, like coughing, you know, and stuff like that, everybody's just staring at me. And my friends are looking at me like, are you good? Like, are you good? And I'm just here coughing. And then, oh my God. <laughs> so then, this probably, I was probably coughing for a good like 10 seconds. But if you think about it, 10 seconds is a long time to just be. <coughs> So I'm coughing and then my principal at the time the principal of my middle school like she comes out of nowhere I don't remember seeing her before that time she probably was already in the cafeteria but anyway she comes out of nowhere and she literally comes behind me and like Yo, she comes out of nowhere she comes behind me and then she just starts doing the heimlich remover on me bro and mind you i've never had the heimlich remover done on me before i low-key didn't really know what it even was at the time so she was coming behind me like i knew i've seen it in movies before and stuff but like i didn't even realize that there was a whole process like i don't know when you're ch when you're younger things that are like that are you just take them for what they are you never really think too much of it Ooh, that was for that situation in my life and when she was doing that i'm just like yo is this <laughs> i'm just like yo is this really happening right now like i'm really like eh, eh, and she's just like mm, mm, mm. and really like this happened for probably a good 10 more seconds 15 more seconds i'm not really sure i'm not really good with time either so i don't know so we're just doing that and like it really helped <laughs> like duh like it really did no like god she saved my life i feel like because she was doing it and with every like mm, 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 into my stomach with every one um it was coming out like the candy piece that was in my throat was literally coming out every one bro so i'm just here like oh my god like <laughs> i had the why can i taste it that's weird i had the candy like like once she did like the last couple ones and before i like i could really speak the candy came out like right into my mouth like it was back into my mouth and i'm starting to speak and i'm like okay all right thank you you can you know so embarrassing like just imagine the whole cafeteria just stops stares at you while you're getting the heimlich remover done on you it's not really the funnest of times but yeah that's a story time of when i had gotten the heimlich remover by my principal <sighs> all right okay guys so the next story time that i'm gonna tell you guys about is about the time i crashed my car get into the story time because it's a lot of moving pieces just stay with me but anyway so this is the time i crashed my car well it wasn't my fault let's just let's just put that out there let's put that no actually let's put that out there first it was not my fault and the insurance claim can tell you that and the police report but anyway basically i'm going to school no i go to um malloy and it's in what neighborhood is that uh, 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 uh. Hempstead? it's in Hempstead. it has to be yeah it's in Hempstead. so i'm going yo i wonder if i could get like a picture of the intersection i crashed at we'll see if i could i'm gonna insert it right here or i'm gonna have it like somewhere in the you know but anyway so i'm going to my school yeah i've been saying that for five minutes but i'm going to my school and um i'm on the highway i'm on the belt parkway eastbound so i'm going on the belt parkway and i'm getting off the exit that i'm supposed to get off at i'm trying to remember okay yeah, i get off the exit and then after right after i got off the exit i had to make like uh a right yeah i have to make a right i'm going down this road like this road is kind of like the last road that you would see that's right next to a highway you know what i'm saying like 
I probably just described that really wrong but anyways I'm going down this road I don't have any stop signs and I've been going down this road since I started school and this was probably when did I crash this car freshman year damn yeah it had to be freshman year damn that was freshman year that was mad long ago but anyway so it was freshman year so uh, it was in the fall I don't have any stop signs this down this road but going down this road you're also meeting up with an intersection of cars that are coming off the highway going westbound if that makes any sense I'm going down this road but I'm also meeting cars that are literally coming right off the highway like literally if you're coming off the highway and you ever see a stop sign right there like before you even get into any street like you come up the highway and there's a stop sign because you have to yield to all the other cars that are already on that road which is it's like common sense like that's basically the road i was coming towards so i'm coming down this road and i see a white car down at the at the stop sign like they came down i saw them come down too that's how long the road is they came down their little exit and they stopped at the stop sign that you're supposed to stop at and the way, thing is that car they could either go they could turn do a very sharp right or they could just keep going with the road and just um i'm gonna show you a picture of what i'm talking about and they or they could just keep going with the road going basically my uh, left but they're at the stop sign and i'm driving down this road like we're facing each other you know i'm going down the road and they're coming this way well they're stopped that way and i'm i don't have let me stop hitting my mic i'm sorry so i'm going down the road they're at a stop sign stopped like they've stopped at the stop sign which okay thank you because you're supposed to do that so i'm just thinking okay like i like this situation gave me no alarm like you know as a driver you just notice certain situations on the road where it's like okay that's alarming like i'm gonna keep my eye out even though like it's not directly affecting you you're still gonna be like all right let me not you know so i didn't have that at all with this person because they literally stopped at the stop sign where they're supposed to stop at because they're supposed to stop there to yield to the cars that are already on this road so i'm going 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 and i'm going probably like i don't know what the speed limit was it was probably 30 but i'm not sure i'm not really gonna say what i was going but it wasn't speeding and i'm going down i'm going down going down and they literally just like right when i'm at where they're at they just boop, hit me and i'm like you just hit me bro you just hit me like i've never been in any car trouble any car accident any even bumper i've never hit someone's window like i've never done anything like that in my life and when this happened it literally just was like this really just happened so basically she hits me my airbag deployed on me which was not fun airbags can kill you the airbag deployed on me and i'm just i'm like my <laughs> my hands are still on the wheel at that time i was driving i was driving with my hands on the bottom like of the wheel so i'm just driving like this and then boop, she hits me the airbag deploys and my hands are like stuck well not stuck but it was like tight where it was because the airbag deployed so i'm just like yo what the fuck and then within seconds smoke starts coming into the car so i'm thinking like bro am i about to blow up because i'm not really into cars like that so i'm not really sure when a car would blow up after a crash like what has to be hit for that to happen i don't know but all i remember is i started seeing smoke and then like bro I'm like, okay, let me get out the car. So I got out the car 
bro this might have to just be two videos because and i'm gonna have to save the other video about me um passing out doing the um gym class i'm gonna have to save that because this video these two videos are taking up all my time but anyways so there's mad smoke in the car so i'm i left the car and i run to her to see if she's okay to see if you know because i don't want to be a part of an accident where i killed somebody but to be honest we weren't even going we just dragged it because we was not going any type of speed to even be killing anybody so i just dragged it but i went over to her and asked if she's okay like she's if she's hurt she said she was fine i ended up finding out she went to adelphi she went to adelphi which i guess was kind of adelphi is kind of close to um Wait, did she go to Adelphi or Hasra? I think she went to Adelphi. But she was a student because this happened at like 8 o'clock in the morning. And I remember that. It happened in the morning. I, heal. I missed my lab class. And anyway, so I went over to her. She ended up going to Adelphi. And she was a student going to school herself. And that car that she just crashed was a brand new Kia I think it was something but it was brand new like it was the year that we was in it was that year like it was a brand new car and you just crashed it and she was a new driver I found out too like she just had she just got that car like what are you doing <laughs> like if I had a brand new car that I just got right after getting my license and you think I'm crashing that like are you dumb but anyway that's besides the point I get out of the car she gets out her car and now our car is just in the middle of the street basically and she's blocking traffic coming out of like people coming out of the highway now are now starting to form traffic because her car is just like there so people start beeping at us and then I'm just like yo I just got into a car accident like you're really gonna beep at me bro like where is the compassion where is the sympathy like i'm not i'm so confused like they could be like this one man was literally like move your car i'm like yo i'm traumatized right now like i'm literally like shaking in my boots and you're telling me to move my car that one was smoking like you want me to go back into that car and move it and it was smoking like make it make sense it don't make sense to me so basically uh, this undercover suburban suv type all blacked out car just put on their lights like they was in line at the um coming because when i tell you like the line coming out to that exit now was like it was forming like that line was forming so i guess they was in line so they got out of line this big ass suv type truck turned on their lights and then like because when you come out of the exit, ex the, the exit you was coming out of, it had space for two cars. But, you know, people are only going to be making it a one way, you know. So he just went on the side like of all the cars and came to us. And he was just like, okay, you girls need to move your cars. You girls need to move your car. And da 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 And I'm just like, bruh, move my car. Like, okay, you move it. Did I move it? I actually don't remember who moved my car. It was either me or another guy that moved my car, like the guy that came out of the car. He moved my car to the end of the street. So yeah, I gotta remember to keep looking at the camera. But yeah, he moved my car and now it's just me and her and the first person I called obviously was my mom. Like, I don't know about anyone else, but if I was in a car accident, I would definitely call my mom first it depends actually it depends on what happens in the car accident but i called my mom i told her what happened she said she'll be right there and she was right there and then right after i called my mom i think i called 911 so that they could file a uh, report so i can get my money because you just really hit me like let's not forget this is like a time of like oh my god are you okay but it's also a time of you really did this some dumb shit and now you're gonna have to pay for it but anyway so right after i finished being on the phone with my mom i called the police and i told them where we were where the accident happened when they got there they we exchanged information and they basically took the report i think they talked to her first which kind of was funny to me 
because why are you gonna talk to her first and take her report first hmm and she was i don't know if she was white i think she's probably hispanic but she wasn't so she they took her report first and then they came to me and i told them what happened i told them exactly what happened and they basically was like okay this is exactly what she just told us so everything is looking uh right um she was obviously in the wrong i had nothing like i did nothing wrong this accident had nothing to do with me and that's exactly what's in the police report she should have stopped at the stop sign which she did i don't understand why she just poop but yeah i'll insert pictures of how my car looked like at the at the crash like i even had like all this like blue stuff coming out of my car i think it was the um windshield wiper fluid i'm not sure but yeah that was coming out of my car and yeah i was traumatized remember how i told you the like my hand got stuck during the crash like because of the airbag like i noticed like a couple hours after the crash my hand was swollen like my my finger right here like literally right like this little cube right here was swollen and i, and I could see it like it was purple and i'm just like oh my god my back hurts <laughs> i wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have done that but my back i mean not my back my finger was hurting so bad from that and yeah that's the time i got into a car accident and uh that was the time i got the heimlich remover done on me by my principal if you guys like this type of content if you want to know more about my life and what's happened in my life make sure to like comment share subscribe to my channel and i will be making more content like this very soon thank you guys for watching make sure you guys hit that um notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye